Hello? Klopp? He's still there? No? Okay. Oli! Yeah, uh, it, it's John from Bury AFC. I, I wanted to know if I could loan a player. Oli? Oli? Welcome back to Barry the Hatchet. Um, as you saw in the intro, I've been doing the rounds recently. Uh, I spoke to Jurgen Klopp, I spoke to Pep Guardiola, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, Ernie Edebe. Spoke to Jurgen Klopp, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, and Pep Guardiola. All of them hung up on me immediately. Nobody wants to lend me their players. Apparently, we're not good enough for them. Anyway, welcome to the show. It's going to be a fun one today. Um, you will ask if it's Skegness where we won 1-0. Um, that puts us into today's game against Vauxhall in the sixth round of the FA Bays. Um, in between games, we played Silsden, we won 2-1. And then we played Barnoldswick, where we won 2-1. Um... So last episode was not the best episode for me. I hate seeing this losing, but it happens. Um, so I, I went and got a player in, um, mostly out of spite. Uh, we, we signed Will Lancaster from Vauxhall. Uh, if, you, if you remember, Vauxhall are one of our title challengers this season. Um, they're now looking for a new midfielder. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we took one of their starting uh, midfielders in, in Will Lancaster. I mean, he's not the best midfielder in the world, but he's good at what he needs to be, other than stamina, anticipation, composure, concentration, off the ball, teamwork, and vision. Apart from those things, he's okay. Um, better than some of the players we do have already. So, yes. Unfortunately, he is cup-tied, so we'll not be playing against Vauxhall today in the FA phase. But, with any luck, he will be playing for them, for us, in the next time we play Vauxhall, later on today, in the league. So... Shall we get started? So we're now on our 4-2-4, um, or 4 2 uh, formation. Uh, back line's the same, keeper's the same. He's playing on a goalkeeper defender position instead of sweeper keeper. Um, Healy Taylor in the midfield, with ball winning midfielder and box to box midfielder. And this is where things change up a little bit. Uh, Chippendale on the left, inside forward, Williams on the right inside forward and McDavid as a deep line forward and Moncrief as the poacher. Um, I completely forgot that Liam McDavid could play as a striker. He's not amazing. Um, but he's actually he's actually doing alright. So let's let's do it. Let's get into today's match. And we're off to hopefully a flying start. And we've already had a shot on target within the first five minutes. Uh, Bell clears that throw in. Uh, Jefferson King passes it to McDavid, who's back to Whitehead, who's just holding up play, waiting for someone to come support him. And there's, there's no kind of support at the moment. Everyone's just kind of bundled together. Uh, Williams shot and in the back of the net. Um, I was kind of sleeping on Williams. 
What's the phrase for that? Sleeping on them? He's been sleeping? It doesn't matter. Anyway, he has been not even a sub for most of the season. Um, I don't know why. I, I just didn't consider him to be a good player. Um, he has come out in the last four games, three games, three, four games, and proven me horrifically wrong. Um, he scored four goals in those appearances. Um, he's doing really well. No idea why I haven't played him, um, but fingers crossed he can keep it up um, as they have a throwing. What's going on in my hair? Um, anyway, Heslop uh, back to Smith, to Bell, to Horton. Lots of passing here. Can we intercept? Jepson King beautifully just belts it. I'm on creep with the ball. Can he finish? No. I'm still searching for a replacement, but the good news is. Coming up to half time, they've had one shot and it wasn't even on target compared to our seven on target. So we are demolishing them, I think is a good what is a good way of saying this. Um, XG is flying, possession, 62% of possession. Um, so either what's happening is they are just sitting back and waiting for us to get tired and then they're just gonna come back out in the second half and ruin all our hopes and dreams of an fa vase win this season um but yes uh, a oof, cross up a, a, i don't know anyway moncrief there we go he gets his goal I'm not sure what i was trying to say um but it looks like actually they're not trying to soak up the pressure and then come at us afterwards voice breaking apparently um anyway Vauxhall with a corner uh, weeks to take whitehead clears only out to weeks again who crosses it back in lies on the header <sighs> look we all knew this was potentially going to happen and i blame you the viewers for this for distracting me it's all your fault if we lose this it is your fault if we win it's because of me seems fair anyway valentine to take a throw into william series on your own card um to taylor can we do something here there's a little bit of passing and it's intercepted by weeks but hunt collects lumps it up McDavid, nobody's there and if they were there they'd be offside um let's make some substitutions williams has scored a goal but is apparently not playing well let's put pratt in uh jepson king needs to come off and we'll keep it at that for now as that's a nice tackle by uh healy but nobody there to help out but they are coming forward whitehead There is no extra time. We either win it in the 90 minutes or it goes to penalties. I don't want it to go to penalties because that is nerve wracking and they should not have scored two goals. So let's, let's finish this game, get a goal and we'll call it a day. Because if they come back and win this 3-2 with the XG that they've got, I will probably quit. But thank you for Chippendale for making me not have to quit. Because that was going to be really awkward. Especially since I'm only on 200 quid a week. I mean, if I, well, I mean, I could probably get paid more being a Starbucks barista. Um, anyway, Prater with the ball, Horton. There's still time for it to go to penalties, by the way. But thankfully, Ed gets the save. Maybe let's take it down to a positive mentality and 
I'm going to shout demand more. And can we do it? Can we just hold on? Oh, we can. And we have. That was kind of a disaster at the end of that, really. They, they should not. They should never have scored the two goals that they did. One, fine. I can deal with that. Two, it's not acceptable. Defensively, we are shocking right now. I mean, it could just be Hunt. He could be like, you know what, I'm retiring. I'm done. Um, I still haven't found a replacement. But focusing on the here and now, we are through to the quarterfinals of the FA Vays. Uh, yes, we are through to the quarterfinals of the FA Vays. And we've won five grand for achieving that. Um, I'm going to go play AFC Blackpool and then I'll be back for Voxel Part 2. Welcome back. It's time to take on Voxel in Part 2. Um, here's, the, here's the lineup. I think the only change being Lancaster on um, instead and playing as a centre midfielder on attack. Uh, let's get into it. Um, let's do a bit of a team talk. So we beat them last time, only barely. Um, so fingers crossed, this time they're not so bothered about it. Um, they have a game in hand on us. Um, and our match today is the catch up game on the rest of the league. Um, so before today everybody was a game ahead of us now we are caught up but Voxel still have one more to play um, so if we can do the business even, even if we lose which we're not going to because Moncrief just scored a belter of a goal um, even if we lose today they cannot catch us Voxel can't catch us um, in the league they'll still be like one point behind us or something um, but hopefully it doesn't come to that, obviously. Um, and that a win here would put us four points ahead of Run Corn Town. So there's potential that we can play around with our tactics a little bit, make us a bit more stronger defensively, um, and possibly even going forward as well. Um, scoring goals isn't a major problem, um, except when Williams has shots like that. Um, instead of slowing it down a little bit, trying to work it into the box. Uh, so Chippendale, Hunt, Healy, somebody put it in the back. It's still in play. I, 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 I myself had given up thinking that was gone. Um, Valentine plays it all the way back to the keeper though. That's a bit of an odd ball. Uh, anyway, we are coming forward once more Williams with the ball uh, surrounded by people weeks back to Bun thought uh, Moncrief was gonna get in the way of that clearance and put it in the back of the net but no this highlight is still going and it's now in Vauxhall's favour bringing the ball forward can we get a tackle yes Lancaster can um, I will say this he, Lancaster is very good at winning the ball um, and Chippendale takes the shot and he scores it you deserve that wheel cart you deserve that oh I, I was not expecting that you know I thought you know the defender was gonna get there keeper was gonna stop it but blinding that went in um, buzz us 2 up and that should make half time a very nice little talk unless we obviously concede but Moncrief wider than that um, this is where we were last game though wasn't it we were 2-0 up at half time we went in and then we nearly bottled it um, still time for us to bottle it but William was bringing the ball forward nobody in the box 
Nobody's even getting there. Oh, shot deflected by the defender. Goes out for his throw in. Can we? Nope. That's the end of the highlight. So, we do go into the dressing room at half time. 2 0 up. And I'm going to say I'm not happy with the performance. Purely because I am now concerned that they are going to come back and they are going to draw this game which we do not want to happen. Anyway, back in play. Weeks with the balls to Smith. Hunt wins the inception by a header. McDavid bringing it forward. Who was that not paying attention? Healy, of course. Um, with the ball lumped up the pitch, but Jefferson King gets hold of it, who lumps it back up the pitch to Moncrief, to Chippendale, to Healy. Please don't pass it to Healy. Anyway, Williams, Healy again, stop. Passing it to Healy. William, can he, he win the penalty? Right. Moncrief. I have faith in you, my boy. He does. He puts it in the back of the net. Wonderful. Um, oof. Dink. Dinks it in. Uh, keeper probably could have got there, but it's 3 0. We still have plenty of time to play, and there's another highlight, and Healy has to come off. Uh, let's swap him out for Gilbert Moncrief, another one. That's 4 0. Oh, I was worried about this game, now I'm not. And he does a roly poly. I mean, you know, Healy playing fairly terribly uh, rest of the team fairly happy with it um, Moncrease on an 8.9 rating I, that's probably the highest he's had all season um, keep doing what you're doing and to think I wanted to get a replacement how silly of me anyway Evans with the ball up Valentine is there to get it back to Ed just just keep it nice and simple. Let's not do anything stupid. Gilboy with the ball to Lancaster. Lumps it up to Moncrief. Who couldn't win the header. And. I thought he was going to grab it. <laughs> I thought Ed was going to come out and grab that ball. And give away a free kick. Or, or it would probably just be a red card wouldn't it. Anyway. Uh, they are coming forward again. To Bell lumps it forward to cover Jepson King tries to get in the way and he didn't well there goes the clean sheet um, and if they come back from this if they come back from being 4-0 down that really would be a sight to behold and probably the board calling me in for a special meeting but we get another penalty Moncrief to take it can he get a hat trick Come on, Moncrief, put it away. And he does. Keeper goes the wrong way, and Moncrief buries it in the back of the net, bringing the score to 5 1 with only 15 minutes left to play. And with that, let's make some more subs. Uh, midfielders not playing great. Uh, Jack Williams, actually, he can come off Prata. Let's bring him in. Everybody else except Gilboy is fine. Hunt, who lumps it up, and Moncrief cannot win the header. Uh, so Heslop bringing it forward for Vauxhall. It's a nice little back pass. Uh, there's cover again. Someone please mark him. And they are still coming. With Smith with the ball. Is he going to lump it in? Nope. It's passed back out. <laughs> Somebody's offside. Okay, good. Right, 10 minutes. Let's waste some time. See if we can stop them scoring more goals. Uh, but they are still coming forward. Bell with the ball. Out to Heslop. Back to Bell. Somebody put a tackle in, please. Whitehead wins a clearance. Monk McDavid, what was that? 
what was that? Anyway, Valentine wins it, prams it with the ball. Do something special. The, the passing right now is is not great. Anyway, what? Why would you pass it? What? Why? I think I see the problem. We need more passing training. That was terrible. That was a terrible goal to concede. They're they're now mocking us. I'd... What could they? Could they come back and score another three goals? I mean, it's football manager. Weirder things have happened. But we are on the attack and let's see if we can stay on the attack and not lose possession. Moncrief with the ball passed it to Gilboy who takes a shot. What a shot! Is that his first goal of the season? That might be a goal of the season contender. That's insane. Wow. Well, this has been a an interesting game. Uh, six two Vauxhall again uh, with one minute. Less than a minute, and they get a third goal. <sighs> right, just let's just just keep passing the ball, and it's over. All right, it's done. What a game that was! Wow, I really want to watch this game. I I, I really want to watch this goal again. If the fans don't look for that as a goal of the season, that is my goal of the season, and I will put it in the end of season review. Um, Moncrief scored four goals in that game. Fantastic. Um, maybe things are turning around. Defensively, lots of questions. <laughs> lots of questions to ask. Um, but six goals, what more could you want? That was a very entertaining game. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. That does see us retain our position as top of the table. Foxhall now 10 points behind us um, so even if they win their game in hand that will still put them 7 behind um, so we probably don't need to worry about them unless we have a major issue in the next couple of games um, but we are coming towards the the end point of the season um, there's not all that many games left to play uh, we do have the FAA's quarter final against Kendall uh, Kendall currently 8th in our league, um, they were one of the top contenders, not anymore. Um, welcome back for the FAA's quarter final against Kendall tomorrow and uh, yeah, hopefully get through to the semi-final and uh, see if we can do that in the same episode. Um, so tomorrow is just going to be an FAA's episode, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.